start working on the ankle knee and hip joint to start with and then wrist elbow and shoulders so i take the chair and keep my leg on to the chair make your some fast comfortable as you can so i do my ankle movement remember range of movement r o m any joint you see there are four range of movements up and down right and left clockwise rotation anti clockwise rotation let you i want you to remember this forever any joint four range of movements so those are our basic sukshma vayama or loosening techniques so to start with i'll work on the ankles so we'll do 3 3 sets so that we can accumulate most of the exercises move your ankle point your toes downwards like this one two ankle movement three i better i sit on the bed it will be much more comfortable for you to see that clearly <coughs> so i'm moving my ankle pointing the toes downwards down and up is three counts right and left three counts rotation three counts anti clockwise direction three counts one two three right and left one two three rotation one two three change direction one two and three okay now you work on the knee joint fold one of the knee bring your both hands underneath of your knee lift your knee up so you are giving an anti gravity support to the knee from here i'll point my toes downwards it raises my leg in a up and down manner three counts 1 2 3 right and left 1 2 3 rotation 1 2 3 change the direction 1 2 and 3 hug your knee and please do the same on opposite side fold at your knee Bring your both hands underneath. Lift your lift your knee up. Point your toes downwards. One lift it. One, two, three. Right hand lift. One, two, three. Rotation. One, two, three. Change the direction. One, two, and three. Release your hands. Hug your knee and release. Now at the hip joint, I spread my leg over, keeping knee straight, ankle straight. I will tilt my leg towards one direction so that it will work on my hip joint. Like this, I tilt, I tilt leg towards one direction. You, you can see my raised hip on the side, knee straight, ankle straight. Come back to the center, towards right. Just this moment. One, two, three, five pumps, four. Five. Done. Same thing on the opposite side. One knee straight, ankle straight, and rotate the leg inwards and outwards. Two, three, four, five. Stop it. Take your both hands in front like this. This moment. One up and down. Two, three, right and left. One. Two, three, rotation. One, two, three, change the direction. One, two, and three. Fold at your elbows. You imagine and think that you are throwing your tensions out. All the things which are there in your mind, depression, anxiety associated with the disease, you just throw it out. So while throwing it out, you are going to do like this, as if you are giving a jerky movement at your elbow. So elbows are the muscles around the elbows are going to work like this. One, throw it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stop it. Interlock both of your hands. Elbows straight. Thumbs up both the sides. Shoulders straight. You are going to twist your hand. As much as possible, like this. Come back to the center. Twist it on the other side. 
Keeping your elbow straight as much as you can. One, two, three, four, five. Stop it. Bring your hands down. Now, I'm facing you. Put your hands like this. Alignment. Elbow, shoulder, shoulder, elbow in one alignment, one line. Alright. So you are going to maintain this line and bend at your shoulders like this. Simplest. Your legs are there touching the ground. Your shoulders are working isometrically. Let us do it. One, two, three, four. Fifth one, hold on. Any disease whatsoever, if you have a problem of lethargy, exhaustion, weakness associated with this, so slow therapeutic exercise like this can increase the strength of those muscles. Very slowly and gently, drop your hands down, rest. Relax for 10 seconds. Feel how it feels at your shoulders, trapezius, muscles. To include your mind, what we need to do is be at the present moment when you are doing any exercise or any moment, put your all awareness on those areas of the body where there is a muscle action. Feel the blood circulation of that area, feel the tingling sensation or nerve sensation of that area. Spread your hands sideways like this. So, what I do is this is like a Twisting your clothes, after you, you wash your clothes, you do like this, crisscross direction. One hand, you know, you holding, imagine you are holding a cloth uh, in your hand and you are twisting like this. So one direction will be opposite, other will be other side. So that the water will get drained. Similarly, this moment is at the level of your shoulders. This is adopted from a Russian martial arts of shoulder loosening technique. So I tilt my left palm and face it upwards and on the on my right side I will tilt my entire hand at the level of shoulders and look at the tip of the left uh, hand. Maintain like this. So if we can do it in a dynamic way, so slowly I tilt to the left hand and do the same onto the opposite side of the my right hand. Look at the tip of your fingers. So there is a stretch at the level of your deltoid and triceps. So if we can do this little dynamic way like this, two, three, four, simple. I take the chair support, lift totally up and stand. From the standing posture, it's it this to work on the thigh muscles, front and back both. So you know that the chair is there at the back there is less tendency to fall. You can also do this onto the bed. So bed is little better for you because even if there is a tendency to fall, there is a bed. So I will show both front and sideways. This is very very important exercise. Those people who have good strength, they can lift their, their hands up, squat and slowly go for sitting. Okay. This is for the people who have little more strength, youngsters. And again, get up slowly. Yeah. Sit down, squat slowly. You are sure that bed is at the back, so no tendency of fall. So it will it'll build your confidence levels. Sit down. And then slowly come up. One more. Go for gentle squat. Squat, squat slowly. And you know that bed is at the back, sit down. And again, lift it as slow as you can. Bring your hands down. This is for little strangers. Easy version I'll show you. I'm sitting on the chair, you can have a side view. It's easy. I will take support of the chair, lift my buttocks up, and up to standing straight. Tadasana. And while going down, I'll again take my hands back, hold the chair. Now, when you are holding chair, your body alignment is better. So, now you can regulate the quadricep movement much better. 
we can increase the strength by slowing it down. Let it slow down, put more efforts onto the thighs and then sit down. This one I recommend for you at least 30 to 40 counts per day and twice a day. So again slowly anti-gravity and gravity. Anti-gravity, all the muscles around the knee and thighs are working to lift the body up. And while going down again, I take support of the chair, so I am assured, mentally stabilized that I am not going to fall and then I regulate my quadricep exercise by slowing it down. How slow you do, that much is the resistance. So this one, this one can be practiced like a step up manner. Initially you practice 10 for about 10 days, 15 days. Later on you do it 20 for the next one month. So slowly you increase this as a step up exercise. Once you come to a day where uh, you are practicing 50 or 60 of these things, it, it means that you are able to achieve the control over the pains and aches of your mouth. Much better. Do it. we add one breathing technique. Breathing in, you make your spine concave like this, head up. Your spine will be made like this, concave. Breathing out, you exhale and make your chin touching the chest and make your body convex. How about you know the convex and concave? So let us start. Jano Hastasana plus breathing. Both hands onto the knee, be comfortable sitting. Uh, onto the chair or the bed, breathing in, head up, back, concave, feel the gentle stretch at your lower back, breathe out, chin touching the chest, back goes for convexity. So maintain this alignment of breathing and the spinal movement, one, breathing, back concave, breathe out, Chin to the chest, back convex. Do this slowly. Five pounds. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Slowly head up. Back concave. Breathe out. Chin to the chest. Back convex. Breathing in. Head up. Back concave. Breathing out, chin to the chest, back, convex. Breathing in, head up, back, concave. Breathe out, chin to the chest, back, convex. Last count. Breathing in, head up, back, concave. Breathing out, chin to the chest, back, Relax. Relax. Asana is called as Ananta Shayanasana, eternal sleeping posture of the Lord Vishnu. Ananta Shayanasana. Yeah. So when you start this exercise, even if you start in the beginning and no problem, even if you learn one exercise, make it a part of your daily life and work on it, you achieve a control over that particular exercise, then move on to the next. So like that it is done. It is not like, uh, uh, you know, it has to be sequentially practiced, but you can choose and do whichever you can and stop exercising only any, any moment you get any pain anywhere. Just stop it immediately, relax. So gently fold at your knee. So this is, uh, I am raising my left 
and up. Imagine an imaginary rope. You imagine as if you are holding an imaginary rope. And I want to pull this rope with the left hand. While the right hand, I am pushing at the elbow. Elbow is pushed. Left hand, palms. You are imagining an imaginary rope and you will pull. Pull and push together like this. One. Come back to the center. So it works on your external oblique, internal oblique, sides of your abdomen without using the knee. So this is very interesting exercise for the people who are bedridden or who are not able to do a lot of exercises because of the knee pain. So it, it goes like this. Pull. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Then again I relax like this. Keep the both legs straight. Relax in extended side lying down posture. Relax like this for about ten seconds. side angle pose Ananda Shayanasana. So in the initial days you, you no need to worry about the what should be the breathing, what should be the breathing in, breathing out, don't worry. Let the body flows the uh, breathing pattern with the body movement, don't worry. Later on once you are able to achieve little confidence and comfortable in that particular asanas, then we will work on the breathing. Fold at your knee, catch hold of the imaginary rope, now you know where we are working and for what. Lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax. Synchronize your breathing, focus your body onto the lateral part of your body which is in line with the mat of the bed. So this will enhance the awareness. When awareness is increased, there will be much more signalings at the thalamic relay station of your brain. When the inputs towards the brain is much better, control from the brain to the body will be better. So this will help us to synchronize breathing and the body movement. So this will help us to reduce the problems of fatigue and a few other related uh, tiredness, fatigue, other related issues in MS and any other disease as such. Okay, taking support of both palms again. Come to sitting posture slowly. 